Hey everybody, Hunter Fisher, Trapper Trader, Guide Scout, and Interpreter, and just a country cook, Steve Hall, here in Nashville, Tennessee, along with pretty Miss Sheila running that camera. Hi, Sheila. Hi. Today we're going to do baked Parmesan tilapia. Now in about a week, when it warms up here in Nashville, this is going to be baked Parmesan crappie, or bluegill, or if you live up north, walleye, or northern pike, you can use any freshwater fish you want. We're going to use tilapia because we have it here for this recipe, but we got to do a little prep work first. Come on over, let's get started. All right, here is our tilapia fillets because we don't have crappie. And I like to remove this little lateral line or what they call a mud line on catfish, that kind of stuff, just because it has a little darker flavor to it and I don't want that at all. I just want nothing but a nice white fillet and I just kind of cut it in at an angle from both sides here. We'll throw our fillets over here. Now we got our them little dark lateral lines removed from our fillets. You can just discard them completely. Let me hit this a lick. Now we're going to prep our wet ingredient first, which is pretty easy to do. I'm going to take some eggs here. I'm going to make a little egg wash. Take three eggs, put in there, and about an eighth of a cup of milk. And that's going to be our wet ingredient. Let me see if I can find a fork here. All right, I found a fork, and I'm just going to whisk up our egg wash and this is a great change of pace for crappie. I love fried fish. I really truly do. But this is really a great recipe and you try this I think you're gonna really really like it. Okay we got our egg wash there. Now here comes the secret ingredients. First of all I just ran out and bought a bag of finely shredded Parmesan cheese. Then I took another bag and took a little bit of it, about a oh half a cup, and I ran it through my little grinder and turned it into grated Parmesan. Because I kind of want the bigger chunks to show up on the fillets, but I want the little powdery stuff to really stick to the fillet. So we're going to put that in there as well. Now you can just buy it. You don't have to run it through a grinder like I did, but I just took the shredded stuff out of the other bag and ran it through my little grinder. And I'm going to do a feature on that grinder because it's so cool. Now in here we're going to add a half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper, one tablespoon of Italian seasoning, and one teaspoon of lemon pepper. Man, that makes that fish taste so good. Now, what would they say if I just stuck my fingers in there and tumbled that around? They can't say anything because it's our kitchen, right Sheila? Correct. All right. Okay, now this is what we're going to put it in. And what we're going to do is we're going to spray this dish over here first. This is our little baking dish. We did some salmon in here the other day and I might put that salmon recipe at the end over on the side of the screen so you can check that out. Oh, it's really good. So, what we're going to do here to make this fish stick to this stuff is we're going to dredge it through our egg wash here and then we're going to mash it in our finely shredded and finely grated Parmesan. See how nice that sticks to that because it has that powdered or grated Parmesan in there as well instead of just trying to get the shredded stuff to stick to your fillet. Man, check it out. Golly, don't that look terrific? Can you see this over here too, Sheila? You can. All right. Just wanted to make sure we had it in the shot there. It's at the edge, but we got it. Okay. We're going to lay these in here. We've got one hiding down here. Now we have preheated our oven to 425 degrees. And we're going to bake this just until it's nice and golden brown or until the fish flakes. I'm going to get some of these thicker pieces in here as opposed to the belly portion of the filet. 
Now you can use a bigger dish because I might run out of room in this recipe here. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Then I think I'll do one more. And I can always pan fry that tilapia for a sandwich later. So this is going to be our baked Parmesan tilapia. I hate to say that when there's crappies right over here in Percy Priest Lake. And I can hear, they, they tremble at the sound of my name. Them crappie do, because they know I'm coming to get them. All right, and there we have it. Looks pretty good, doesn't it, Sheila? That's real good. We're going to pop this in the oven. We're going to bake it at 425 degrees until it's nice and golden brown, until the fish flakes. And we'll be right back with you. To turn out perfect, come take a look at our baked Parmesan tilapia. Now this looks fantastic, and it smells delicious. Let me see if I can get this turned sideways here. Set my little plate up here. All right, that's coming out just nice. Look at there. Let me lay this in here like this here. That'll give me room to put maybe, maybe two more of these little guys. Look at that cheese and stuff. No, I actually only want to put one because Sheila wants a camera shot and I want it to look just perfect for her. Looky there. That's what I'm talking about. Voila. Let me move this out of the way. What do you think, Sheila? Pretty. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? It is. You know, as much as I love fried fish, I really love this. You got to try this recipe. It is so good. Baked Parmesan tilapia, or maybe it's baked Parmesan crappie at your house, or walleye, or northern pike. Mm. That flavor is outstanding. Did I mention it's also laying on a bed of wild rice? Kind of reminds me of being in Minnesota or Canada. Surrounded by some vegetables. See if I can talk with my mouth full here. You've got to try this recipe. It's so crunchy and so delicious and so flaky. Wow. And we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's pretty easy. As soon as I finish eating here. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in just a little bit. When it does, click on it. And then when it says subscribe, click that little bell that's next to the word subscribe. Then you'll know every time we come out with a new recipe. And is this the best baked Parmesan tilapia you ever ate? If it ain't, it ought to be. We'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Thanks a lot, Sheila. You're welcome. Great job. You got to try this. It's really good. See you later, folks.